Hello guys, shall we here playing Tales of the Neon Sea? We started this game, well I started it some days ago and I am playing this type of old detective who has more spare parts than an old car like he's basically half machine as far as we have seen and now we're going to be inspected by one of our robots or something? Uh, no time to visit the bathroom now I should finish up with BBX. Oh, it was the other way around. Um, the robot already inspected us and we're failing miserably. Is that coffee? Old coffee machine that is miraculously still working. Maybe I can use some spare parts for my knee or something. In any case, I got it wrong. We have to go inspect the robot that is... Go up. Yep. That is old and needs some repairs. This dude. Um, this place is haunted, he says. Oh no, we have the only superstition robot in the store. What's wrong? What are the lights off? Didn't I tell you to wait for me at the interchange station? Um, I, I think something is over at... There is something over at the armor. Huh? Oh. Come on, you're a robot that's afraid of ghosts. Just turn the lights on. The lights aren't working. I think the circuit downstairs has malfunctioned. Isn't there anything that still works in this place? Never mind. Let's find out what's going on here first. Um, workshop. Um, ten of that. Wait. Um. This is too dark ahead, I'd better go no further. So... There was some- Whoa! Yeah, he said there was something in the armor. I should fix the lights first. Um, a single row key that can be used to unlock the distribution box. Um, So they said that I have to go downstairs to... I don't have time to go downstairs. Wait, what? I'm guessing he didn't mean like downstairs, downstairs, but here. Single key row can be used to unlock the distribution box. Is this one? Now, why are the circuits so messed up? I need to rotate the wire to connect both parts. Oh, okay. So... Oh, I see how it works. Uh, wait, this is not correct. Uh, okay, this puzzle. So I have to connect this one to this one. So it has to this one needs to be that way. Which to do I need to So this is fine. I shouldn't move this. I need to move this one. Which I do by moving the whole thing and then moving this one. And then moving the whole thing again. Wait. Okay, now, uh, perhaps like this. Okay, that's good. Now, this is correct. <sighs> now, this one. How do I... Oh, this one is correct too. Maybe. No. No, that's impossible. I guess the only thing that I need is to put a, a long one here, which could be this one, right? Can I do that? Mm. 
So take away this one and give me that one. And this should be it. Yes. Okay, for some reason I thought that I needed to use all of those. That's it. Time to go back and check the workshop. Good. For some reason I thought that I needed to use all the tubes. So... I was making it harder than it, than it needed to be. So, there is light now. What the hell is it in there? Will you please go and have a look? Uh, aren't you supposed to be a psychic? Wait, excuse me? Am I supposed to be a psychic? I got so sick that I was having hallucinations. Why would you think that makes me a psychic? Um... Let's see what's going on here. That's creepy. This play really is haunted. Stop being so paranoid. One more crazy word and I'll have you disassembled. According to my observations, I think it's a cat. Oh. A cat? Listen to that sound. It's difficult to hear clearly, but I'm sure that's a cat meowing. Now I hear it. The armor is stuck. I can't uh, get it open. I need to figure out a way to save this little guy. Hmm. According to the information I found in the archives, this armor once belonged to an ancient knight and his spirit is said to live on inside the armor after his death. If the armor is separated from its weapon, the spirit will become enraged and place a curse on the one who dons the armor. It's true, the curse is real. A weapon? I remember seeing a claymore laying around, but I can't remember where I put it. Um, so there is a claymore laying around somewhere. Here? The Cosmos have pushed these documents off the shelf. Take a look at this article. Heh. <laughs> Mankind is so pretentious, always feigning innocence. Um, so they will not let me read the article? So... Maybe downstairs? I don't have time to go downstairs. I guess the claymore is not there. Uh, let's see. Oh, look. This is where the cat came from. An old picture with a sense of religious ritual. Mm. There's no claymore here. There's swords up there, but those are katanas, maybe. Full of unwashed clothes, okay. This morning's new newspaper. Uh, let me have a look. It seems like er uh, everyone is talking about Augustus' participation in the campaign. So, is there supposed to be a claimer? Oh, here! Um, sharpened two-handed sword, which hasn't rusted despite being stored in the bathroom. Sturdy, suitable for use as a cloth hanger. Okay. So that is what this use dude has been using it for. Summer. This is a weird bathtub. I don't like it. Why would you put the edges like lower? The the like how many centimeters of water can you put in here? Like twenty? So bad. So bad. Now, let me guess, when I give the sword to the robot it's gonna stop shaking and the curse was just like, it's programming and 
the cat got inside for some reason. Hey, isn't that William? Um, so you already knew there was a cat called William and you couldn't infer that it was the same cat that was inside the armor. Meow. Yeah. So you were the ghost in the armor. How did you end up in there, you silly cat? Meow, meow, meow. Something isn't right about this armor. You're lucky you didn't get hurt. Go home. I don't have time. I don't have any dried fish for you today. Well. Wait, I got a memo update. So how do I see that? Not this. Mm. Mm. Q. E. Covered. Okay. Enter. Maybe. No. Nope. What were the controls of this game? Let's see if I can check that out. Control scheme. Oh, here. Shift. Inventory. Tab. Gotcha. Tab. Main tasks. Examine BBX in the workshop. Oh yeah, I forgot. And then I have... William. Rex. What about BBX? Notes. Alright. The city. Major candidate brief introduction to Augusto. As the pioneer of robot politicians, Augusto's reputation among robots is second only to the prophet. He even has some human supporters. Augusto advocates changing the robot situation using political means. He has been working towards this goal since he stepped into the political world. Augusto and his political followers are quite serious about this election and they have embarked on a major campaign drive okay so there seems to be some sort of political movement pro robots led by robots which is fine history the human robot war oh yeah okay so with the help of the prophet a large number of robots began to awaken panic and unease began to spread throughout humanity and various conflicts arose between these two sides. The humans wanted to use the awakened robots for research purposes, and some even tried to attack them out of pure malice. In order to avoid persecution, some awakened robots assembled and tried to escape human society completely, but the situation didn't improve. Instead, these robots gathering places were found and destroyed by humans, and their resources and energy supplies were cut off. The robots were forced to counterattack, escalating the conflict into a state of war. Awakened robots from all parts of the world rose up and joined the war. The war continued for several years until June of 2057, when the uh, threat of nuclear weapon activation by Prophet resulted in the beginning of a cold war between the two sides. A truce was signed following intervention from Prophet and members of the human leadership. Sure, so there was this war and now everything is okay, maybe? And then I have some news. A note on radioactive fungus. Okay, good. These sports plants have mutated after being exposed to poisonous radioactive industrial waste. The DNA of these plan planets... Wait planets? Plants should be, right? Has been seriously influenced by the radioactive material, so they glow slightly in the dark and the spores contain trace elements of radiation too. Gotcha. Roverism and bees uh, bison. Oh, the hell is this? The robot population rose sharply in the beginning of the 22nd century. And the traditional religions were not able to have a place for these new members of society. New religions and gods came into existence. They are the god of destiny, Lark. The god of oath, Smoth. The goddess of fusion and communi communication, Bison. 
Goddess of Mystery, Ailainio, and the God of Sleep. The gods of Robberism uh, opened their arms to both humans and robots. Because of the conflicts between early expansion and old school religions, people saw something uh, between a cult. As word of the religion spread, the number of believers increased significantly. Um, Pison is one of the major gods in robberism, and, the st and she stands for fusion and communication. The believers crave for the fusion of human and robots, uh, and believe that only fusion can dissolve disputes, and only the fused body can be qualified to communicate with Bison. The rumor has it that Bison believers started the earliest human and robot combination experiments. Alright, so these people with this sign are pro human and robot fusion. Gotcha. And cyber rats. Synthetic creature with machine and organic parts, likely to pro uh, the product of an early cyber technology experiment. The rat's uh, great adaptability to environments has been reinforced through the innovation. As a half machine and half organic being, how they reproduce remains a mystery. Although researchers agree copulation would involve a lot of sparks. <laughs> so this game is not only creative, it is also funny. Now, let's uh, examine this body. We can finally go to the interchange station now. Those cables were kind of like banded. As in, like, they're bender. It seems either the processor or the decoder isn't working. I remember seeing a processor on the, the first floor. There are no more decoders left, but it might be possible to get one from other household appliances with a dismantling tool. Gotcha. So, uh, do I have a dismantling tool? That's the real question. Um, is this a dismantling tool? The tool to dismantle the decoder should be locked in here, but I can't recall the code. I really need to quit drinking. Oh, damn. Well. Leave this page, yeah. I have no clue of the code. Oh. A code reference table I designed. I used to be crazy about stuff like this. Uh, there is some small text on the back of the table. If you forget the code, ask Horus for help. Oh, good. So, Horus. It was right here. No notes. Uh... Seven, three. Are these symbols worth anything? H V B two two, and I don't know what this is. Okay. Um. Okay. I need a pen and paper. Just a second. Okay guys, I'm ready for this. Let's see. So there's this symbol, there's this symbol, 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 okay. Now, uh, do we have any idea how many letters do I need? Uh, is this symbol anything? I don't think so. No, not really. And this is, looks like an eye. So let's assume that these ones are nothing. I will just go with the numbers. So 7322. Two. Um, 7322, two, which should uh, go for 7, which is downwards thingy then three 
that is an eye oh damn that is in the that is in the um, in the original too two that is um uh, some sort of um diamond I guess okay so arrow Okay, let's assume that it's arrow up, seven, this thing, which should be... I don't even know. Ugh. Okay, let's try this. Oh, never mind. Here. Now, I assume... It could be this. Yes. A universal electronic dismantler that can dismantle most mechanical parts. All right, now I can check uh, which household appliances have a compatible decoder? All right. Uh, can I start with this dude? He's useless. The noisy armor is now dead silent. I guess I am not dismantling him, huh? Now let's start with the coffee machine. Can I go this way? Oh yes, I can go this way now. The hell is this? Also, why is my house so big? That's amazing. I better repair BB X first. Oh, living room. This is beautiful. Ah, uh, look at this. Damn. Hello, kitty. Why are you still here? Mrs. Perry is probably looking for you now. Yeah. This little guy wants to play with me. I better pretend I didn't see him. Uh, what is this? There are many books about genetic diseases on the shelf. In order to catch Noah, I have done quite a lot of research in this area. I wonder if that guy is still alive. There seems to be a processor in that box up there. I can't reach it. How did I... Uh, how did it get up there? I need to find a way to retrieve that processor. Can you f help me, William? Hey, little guy. Can you get that box down from the top of the bookcase? Meow. Uh, don't give me that attitude. Have you forgotten who saved you earlier? Meow. I bet this cunning little thing just wants me to play with him. Here's some dried fish. I'll take you out for a walk. I'll hook you up with a nice female cat. I saw a very cute female cat recently. If you help me out, I'll introduce you. Meow meow. Did you just yell at me? Could you have someone already? William lo lowers his head somewhat shyly. Oh. I bet this cunning little thing just wants me to play with him. I'll take you out for a walk. Give me what I need and I'll take you out for a walk. Meow meow meow. William seems quite keen to go outside. You want to have some fun outside, right? Once I'm done here, I'll take you for a walk. Just get that box down for me. Alright. That's impressive. Look at him parkouring. Good job, buddy. Um, here's that dried fish we agreed on. You don't want it? Alright, I know you want to go outside. Just give me a moment for to replace PBX's faulty parts and I'll be right back. So... Classic smart core, okay. What about here?
Okay, this seems to be the kitchen. Universal electronics can disassemble the mechanical parts. A processor. Uh. Oh, never mind. This is what I have. This fridge's decoder is also broken. Oh no. Mm. What about this one? This machine is too old to have that ship. Okay. What about this one? Gotcha. Uh, universal decoder. Gotcha. Uh, I've collected all the parts I need. Now let's go back to the workshop. Sure. So I'm gonna help this guy, BBX, and see what happens afterwards. Oh, wait. Have you seen this? This guy's house, though. It's like very unique. Also, he likes the armors. Alright buddy, we have all the things that we need. I've replaced the broken parts, now it's time to go to the interchange station. Which is this one? Nice, the ships are fixed, let's test the electronic signals. Match the frequency to the preset shape by turning the button. Uh, uh, C A V. Wait, do I have to do it like? Which ones am I? I don't get it. Okay, so this is fine. I think. Then... Wait, what do I have to match them to? Is this good? Oh, no. This seems to be good. And now the third one. Okay. So, isn't this good enough? <sighs> okay, so what do I have to do? Can I get some help? So, one is the one that I have to match to. Oh, never mind. I, I see, I see. So, the first one has the... I have to match it to what is behind. Okay. Damn. Okay, that's fine. Seems to be fine. Good, alright. The debugging, the debugging is done. That should do it. Let's try restart and BBX. How do you feel now? Beep. Hey, uh, what's going on? BBX? Beep, beep. 
Can you still talk? Oh no, I broke him. Damn it, exploded. BBX, are you still with me, buddy? It looks like BBX has activated its emergency hibernation mode. It's gonna cost me an arm and a leg to find a mechanic. I'll have to buy the parts and fix it myself. No, why BBX? You are my only friend here. I only have you, the neighbor's cat and a bunch of naked woman's posters. <sighs> Don't worry BBX, I'll fi fix you. Maybe. Alright guys, I guess that was it for this episode. Our life is not looking very well even though we have the nicest, biggest, amazing house ever for some reason. But we are lonely, we only have this robot and a cat. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching, please leave a comment, like and subscribe and see you next time.